What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Again, on this camera, you guys all really seem to like it, so thank you so much for all of your support. I also do want to say a huge thank you to you guys for all of the nice positive comments on last week's video. If you guys didn't see it, I filmed a video all about how to take awesome Instagram pictures, how to create a feed, all that kind of stuff, so I'll have that linked down below for you guys. And if you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so that you are always notified when I upload a video. If you want a video all about how to edit Instagram pictures using Lightroom and all that kind of stuff, give this video a thumbs up so that I know. With that being said, I'm just waiting for Daniel right now. He's in the shower, but if you are also new here, Daniel and I are engaged. We are planning our wedding right now, and I have started a series on this channel kind of talking about our wedding, planning everything. It's been a minute since I've done a video for this because we did take some time to like just figure everything out of what we wanted. We found the Venue, you guys know that we are so happy and thrilled with it so the next step was to get all of our invitations so RSVPs save the dates all that kind of stuff we have our official date which is October 5th 2018 I am so excited but also kind of nervous Dan and I just got our package in the mail with all of the invitations so I figured we would open them on camera to see our reaction of them because obviously when you're picking them online it's like a lot different than when you get them in person Boo's just scratching his cone. He was recently neutered, so poor Bibby. And then after that, we also have kind of figured out what we want to do for our centerpieces. So that is going to be discussed in here as well. And then the last thing is kind of talking about our vision for the wedding and what we have planned. If you guys want to see what we have done so far when it comes to venues, bridesmaids shopping for the bridesmaids dresses, my dress, all that kind of stuff, I'll have links down below. I started doing this on my vlogging channel, but then I figured a lot of you guys were curious about it on this one. And most of you said, yes, you were. So I kind of switched over to this it's a little confusing why it's on both channels but i mean that's the that's the reason so i'm just gonna wait for daniel to get out of the shower and then we will open up the box <laughs> i guess we'll start off with the wedding invitations but we got what rsvps and save the dates mm -hmm. so do you want to explain what the difference is a uh, save the date is just sort of like uh hey this is the date we're doing our wedding uh make sure you keep that day open and then an rsvp is more closer to the actual date and it's like are you coming yes and if you're someone who has an option for a plus one one, are you bringing a plus one yes or no and what are you guys gonna be eating so that we can tell the caterers what meals they're preparing you know mm -hmm. so we actually like I said we ordered ours online and we got them from a website called minted this is not sponsored but I'll, what I liked about minted was that you can actually custom make it online so when we were looking they have samples and stuff and we kind of like the look of one because we are getting married outdoors and it's kind of in the forest so we wanted something a bit earthy that kind of had a more fairy, not fairy tale, but like woodsy vibe. But they have, they have, you know, probably thousands of different oh, combinations yeah. easily. So many. Like, yeah, and then, so then you custom make everything. You can decide what font, like you said, what color, and then it lays it all out for you and is like, is this exactly what you like? And you say yes. Yeah. And so hopefully it looks really good in person. They're really pretty. So these are the, um, RSVPs. So there's a little bit of plastic glaring, but you guys can see they're all tilted back and forth so that you get a good sort of angle. These are the RSVPs. I um, mean, they come with envelopes as well. We yes. just got plain envelope. Then this one, we're gonna have to actually like unwrap for them to see it. Yeah, it's covered by it. Or you could probably just take, or is that attached to the plastic? That's attached to the plastic. Okay. But then we got the save the dates. The save the dates look like bigger. Yeah, they are. They cool. seem bigger. Yeah, so the RSVPs are like a little smaller. There's two stacks here. Wow. So this is the save the date. It's bigger, but it's basically the same, same idea. Same, same sort of style uh, with like the, the woodsy and like the trees and the leaves. I mean, no trees, but like the foliage on it. So join us for the wedding of Daniel Jensen and Alexandra Chintomo, the 5th of October, 2018, at five o'clock in the evening, and, and then merriment to follow, meaning the, ceremony, uh, the reception. Yeah. So we really liked, they had different colors for the leaves as well, but we really liked the green one because it was more our vibe, and then as well as the gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could have just sat closer <laughs> here, and it's foil pressed, and then the font is the font that we chose. Yeah, we did like a few different fonts, as you can see. Mm-hmm. And then it comes also with envelopes, which are really nicely stacked. Mm -hmm. And they're just plain so that we can write the address on top. And um, yeah, oh my god, they're so nice. Yeah, these are beautiful. This place did a really good job. Yeah, seriously. So I'll have a link down below if you guys are curious to check out the website. Again, it's not sponsored. I just 
Yeah, since it went so well, you guys might as well check it out yeah. if you're like, I mean, you could probably do like graduations, bar oh, mitzvahs. Yeah. And then I think the other thing we want to talk about are centerpieces. So when we were thinking for centerpieces, we wanted something kind of basic, not too tall so that you like can't see the person sitting in front of you. Because I think we're doing circular tables, right? Yeah. To me, circle tables are more fun because if you do like long rectangular ones, if someone's sitting at this corner and someone's sitting at this corner, they can't really like talk to each other. Yeah. They can't see each other. It happened at one of like a birthday we went to for a family thing, where it was like the whole family on one rectangle and I only saw like the four or five people around me. Yeah. And we went like two and a half hours they even talk to the people over there. So if you're in round tables, everyone can at least talk to each other. Yeah, I mean, to each their own. Obviously, people like the look of the, the long tables as well, but we really wanted, and like, obviously, we're gonna have specific tables for specific people, so we yeah, wanna try make sure to, that everyone can. Yeah, try to like match people up with, uh, I don't know. Yeah, and the tables aren't huge, so. No, probably eight to 10 per table. But yeah, we wanted something that wasn't too high so that you could still talk to the person in front of you mm -hmm. and uh, make conversation with. But we also wanted something that goes along with our theme, which is woodsy slash fairy tale slash uh, rustic. So for the centerpieces, I actually um, spoke about it a bit with my friend Emma. She helped me kind of come up with the idea. She's been to a lot of weddings, so she's seen and kind of has like pros and cons and stuff. So we kind of sat down and I figured out some things that I liked and then I showed Dan and he really liked it as well. So, um, I mean, it's not 100% final yet. You guys can obviously give us suggestions if you have any ideas, but basically what we are planning, so <laughs> I drew out a little sketch, but um, here, hold this for a second. What we are thinking of doing is slab of wood on the table like this. So this we can actually cut ourselves because we have a lot of like trees and stuff around us. So, I mean, we'll, that are already cut down or you can obviously just buy wood and then cut them yourself with a chainsaw. So this would be in the center, and then we were thinking of two mason jars, one of them being like this size and a small one, or having this and a big one, or having this and a small one, like we're not really sure. And what I was thinking of having around it is like some kind of, um, it's not lace, what's that called, a doily? Is that what it is? You know those like little white doily things? Yeah. Like that, so kind of wrapped around in the center and then having twine wrapped around here as well or in the center of the doily, kind of tied in a bow and obviously we would um, like glue yeah. this <laughs> together. And then inside of the mason jars we would have fairy lights, so very whimsical and very subtle and cute. She also said that some people put sand in it and then put, you know, You could probably lights. do like twigs and branches yeah. and leaves and... So we were thinking of doing that and then as well as gluing on to this, maybe little pine cones and pine needles. Yeah, stuff like that. So it kind of look, looks very woodsy and so you can I... You do, since it's October, do like, uh, like fallen leaves and... Yeah, like, you know, like the brown leaves and stuff or even red. But the tables that we want are actually just like, like we said, circular tables. We are looking into getting um, the chair is kind of made out of like a wood material and Almost then like not wicker but like yeah like not yeah. just like a plastic chair no and then having like a, a, a white kind of cushion and thing on the back to make it very rustic and rustic but also comfortable because you yeah. can go full rustic and do like barn stools and like benches but yeah then it's you know it's like hours and hours and hours at night eating so kind of uncomfortable so you want we i don't know we want to try to blend comfort the look that we're going for mm -hmm. and then as for food so the place that we're getting married actually has their own catering company so we're going with them they can basically do everything like anything yeah, we would want we can even come up with ideas off menu yeah and obviously their chefs can can yeah manage it and she even showed us like examples of what they just do. So we were thinking of having three options. So you have your beef meat. So it's like any kind of beef that you would want. Well, I no, because I kind of worked in reverse. Obviously, we're going to have vegetarian option yeah. because there's a lot of people there that are going to be either vegetarian or vegan. So that's like a guaranteed. And then normally at a wedding or a big like ceremony like this, you have some sort of like a meat and then a fish. Mm -hmm. You know, because then it's like, well, maybe some people don't want to be vegetarian, but they don't want to have a meat thing because it's kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. So then you have that in-between sort of light fish dish. So yeah, we're doing like a vegetarian, a fish, and then a beef. You have like right. sort of three options. Some people would do like a chicken and a fish. Um, I mean, you could do like a pork and a fish. But I just thought, I don't know, it's sort of like, covers like a pretty broad range that way. You know, you have like a beef, fish, and then a vegetarian. Co covers everything. And I think also on the invitations, we're going to mark a little place saying like, um, if you're gluten free or if you're vegan, um, if you have any allergies, yeah, to they'll, kind of they'll market. accommodate it. Yeah, which is really good because I thought that was just simple. Like the place that we're getting married already kind of covers all of that and even said that they can do anything. Mm -hmm. um, we are doing open bar for the full night. So that is until 2 p.m., I believe, they or 1 p.m., they close the bar. 1 p.m.? AM, I meant AM. 
1 a.m. or 2 a.m. I don't remember. And then you can dance until 3. And then the venue closes. Yeah, at and 3. then it closes. Um, so but open bar for me was like the number one, not most important thing. Obviously, the wedding itself is the most important. <laughs> but when it comes to like this, the ceremony, mm -hmm. uh, not the ceremony, the reception and all the guests, it's like, oh, maybe you didn't quite like the food choice we had. Oh, man. But I know from experience, I've been to a few weddings and I know a lot of people that have been to a lot of weddings. One of the biggest things that people don't like is having to bring cash at a bar. Yeah. Like bring their money to the bar and, and like buy drinks change tips like having to deal with that whole thing it's just so much easier to have an open bar because mm -hmm. then people if they want to drink they can drink if they don't want to drink they don't have to drink and there's no hassle with tipping i mean a lot of people leave tips anyways but yeah there's no hassle with like bringing your wallet and like bringing all your money and worrying about it and it's just so much simpler and we both really liked that they gave us the option if we wanted to do open bar or not and we said 100 percent yes even though we don't really drink alcohol it doesn't matter it's for like all the people that come that do drink you yeah know? and then also one thing that i thought was really cool is when they said um so basically after the ceremony we get married and then obviously the wedding parties are going to go take pictures bride and groom are going to take pictures so everyone else kind of makes their way to the reception area which looks like a like a, an old barn kind of thing like yeah they decided to like, a, a, like a renovated barn kind of thing yeah and so there's a section where you walk in where you get the signature drink so on arrival you get um, and it can be anything that like we like to drink. Obviously, we don't really drink alcohol, but we could still kind of create something like either the girl drinks will be like sangria, or the guy drinks will be like a whiskey, or you know something. Yeah, I mean, like you can do whatever you want. You can do want. cocktail. You could do you could do honestly whatever. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was really cool. So people like kind of they slowly go in, they get a drink, they mingle, have some fun. And then fun. there's there's little appetizers or d'oeuvres, yeah. um, finger food, stuff yeah. like that. Uh, and then we go do our pictures, and then when we go back, if you guys have any suggestions, obviously. If you Feel free to leave them down below in the comments we're always welcome to those um in the end we're gonna do what we like but i mean mm -hmm. your help can mean a lot to us especially if you have been to a lot of weddings or if you are married yourself or you are going through the process and there are things that you kind of come across that you think would be helpful had a wedding yourself and you something happened that day or night that you never like foresaw mm -hmm. but it's kind of like oh this is definitely gonna happen watch out for that you know like i don't know some people say you get really caught up talking to too many people because everyone wants to talk to you Mm -hmm. You know, and like prepare for that. I don't know, something like that if you have a little advice. But um, obviously we're very excited. <laughs> we have been putting everything kind of on the back burner <laughs> for a while because we had so much stuff happen. And I mean, it's good our venue is able to organize yeah, that's, stuff Yeah, that's that's partially us. why we haven't been organizing yeah. as much is because it's just a phone call to the venue and we go through like 90% of everything we need to do. Done mm -hmm. in like that afternoon and then that's it. Yeah, so we might bring you guys along for that when we do decide to go. It's probably next month, I think, would make the most sense, or the end of this month. Yeah, probably um, the end of this month before trips and stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and also don't forget to subscribe down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our vlogging channel because we do put up vlogs. We, <laughs> even though we haven't put up a vlog. We haven't put one up in a few days, and now we're like backlogging just <laughs> the way it worked out. Um, but yeah, we will see you guys all in our next video. Bye! In this abandoned amusement park We come to life when it turns dark We're just carnival hearts, you and me